What is going on guys? Bucky Roberts here and in this tutorial series I am going to be teaching you about Wireshark. Now Wireshark is an awesome tool and it's completely free and if you guys are interested in networking or networking security at all then this is a tool that you're going to need to know. So basically what it is is it's a program that lets you view and analyze the traffic over your network. So let's say that, I don't know, maybe you had some kids and you wanted to make sure they weren't going to any weird sites or doing anything bad online. Well, what you could do is you could actually look at the traffic and then when they're sitting in the room, you can actually see what sites they're going to. Or maybe you are, let's say, a network administrator or a systems administrator for a company or a bank. Well, what you could do is you can monitor all the traffic on your network and make sure that no one's trying to hack it or break in or do anything that they shouldn't be doing. So basically, like I said, it's going to allow you to view and also analyze. And it's not only good for, you know, just monitoring, but you can also find uh, bottlenecks, look at system performance, see where things are going slow and try to fix them, improve them. So, uh, yeah, there's a little introduction. Let's go ahead and get started. So, in order to download it, what you need to do is you need to go to Wireshark.org. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it, and I'm on a Windows 7 machine right now. But this program is the exact same, no matter you're, whether you're running it on a Mac or Linux. Once you get it installed and up and running, then the interface is the same. And like I said, it runs on every platform. So, no matter what you are using, go ahead and click the download button. And it's on automatically going to detect what operating system you have so for me it chose Windows installer 64-bit if you guys want to double check and make sure that it chose the right bit version if you're on Windows then if you click this button the start button in the bottom left and you right click computer then what you can do is you can go to properties and you can see for me I am indeed running a 64-bit operating system so that way I can install 64-bit right here. I actually downloaded it before this video began. thought I'd save you guys a few seconds. So I'm just going to open this folder, go to Downloads, and run it. Now, to be completely honest, you guys probably don't even need me for the rest of this tutorial. You just click Next, Next, Next. But uh, if anything funny happens, then you can troubleshoot that. So let me close out of all this. All right. So like I said, all this is is a wizard. Um, you know, you guys installed stuff before. I agree. Make sure you read all that. Now you want to install all of these components, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about these different plugins and the different tools that we can use later on. But for right now, just make sure that we install everything. And all right, so this is probably the only part that uh, is going to be different for anyone, and it's where do you want the icons to be? For me. Personally, I want to have a desktop icon since we're going to be using this quite a bit. So there you go. Choose whatever icons you want and click next. Now keep it in the default location. Looking good. Now for this thing, this actually might confuse some people. So it says, do you want to install WinPCAP? Now I know a lot of the time whenever you're installing new software, then it tries to install like toolbars and like you know just like extra extra crap that you don't need and a lot of people uncheck this do not uncheck this when pcap is the application that's going to actually capture the packets or in other words the traffic over your network and wireshark is the program where you're going to be able to view and analyze them so if you guys were like wait a minute i thought that wireshark was going to be capturing those packets well again like i said these programs kind of work together and in my opinion, whenever you install Wireshark, it should already come uh, with WinPCAP. It shouldn't even be an option. But I don't know why they install it. Uh, you know, they make them two different uh, programs. I think it's because you can use other programs with WinPCAP as well. But anyways, if you're on Windows, make sure you install WinPCAP or Wireshark is not going to work. And if you're on Linux or Mac, it's going to be different. You don't use WinPCAP. That's only for Windows. So you have to see the application. I don't know it off the top of my head. But anyways, pretty much just check everything. Check all the options and boom, let it do its thing. So all right, this thing pops up. 
Yes, we want to install WinPCAP as well. We want to be able to capture those packets. And might as well start it up on boot time. Dun, 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 dun. That was easy. Now let's continue installing while you're shark. All right, mates. Look at that. Completed in just a few seconds. Not that big of a program. And boom. Might as well. Actually, I'm not going to run it right now. So I'm just going to finish that and check it out. So if you chose to make a desktop icon, you get this pretty looking icon right there. And whenever you double click it, then it's going to boot up Wireshark. Now another thing I want to say, the last thing before I start showing you guys how to use it and what all of this stuff means is this. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the traffic on our network. Now if you're like me, there's not a lot of cool stuff that happens, you know, just on your own home network. I'm the only one that lives in my house. So you know, there's not a lot of different attacks or I don't have, you know, a bunch of different devices that are going up, you know, connecting to my network. However, if you do want to look at some, you know, more interesting captures or just download some uh, sample files that other people have, then you can go to this website right here. So wiki.wireshark.org slash sample captures. So these are pretty much, um, this is pretty much traffic from other people's network. So like I said, maybe you want to look at what Bluetooth traffic looks like or maybe you want to you know look at what some kind of a port scan or some kind of attack looks like well obviously you don't want to go out and buy a Bluetooth device or start hacking your own computer so you can just you know scroll through these and choose whatever type of traffic that you want now just so we can all have a similar project file if you guys go ahead and download this one HTTP dot cap this is pretty much the most simple example is just basically someone going to a website and downloading a file so in a lot of the examples I'll stick with this one of course I'm gonna be showing you guys live um, you know how it works and all that but go ahead and download this one and then whenever we need to you know look at something together then we can use that file but there you go now that you have Wireshark installed and go ahead and install some sample files start looking through those and you're ready to move on to the next tutorial where we are going to finally figure out how to start using Wireshark.